I did tell you. How brilliant was that? It was the fabulous Keith Floyd. He'll be back for more next week. But now it's time to find out whether Rod will be facing Food Heaven or Food Hell. Everybody here has made their minds up. Food Heaven would be, of course, chicken and a nice little chicken curry. Lovely. Mm. With all these different spices, with a pile of chips that are going to go with it. Alternatively, the dreaded Food Hell. We've got scallops over there with some mash, a nice little sort of cream sauce to go with it, with some fennel, baby leeks, a bit of asparagus, mm. topped with a bit of Gruyere cheese under the grill. You can you think dress it up decided? however you want. I don't want it. <laughs> you don't want it? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, neither I don't did... Mind the, I don't mind some of the bits you've got with it, but scallops and all that. I didn't even know they looked like that, to be honest. Didn't but neither did <laughs> Louise and Jenny didn't want curry either. They didn't want curry? Unfortunately, he stuck by his gun, so that's what you're getting. You're getting scallops. <laughs> we got on quite... <laughs> <laughs> we got on quite well over there. <laughs> That's what you get it. I said you had a nice top on everything. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got our scallops over here, which, uh, now, you might want to go around here. Uh, he's going to show you how to There's a chicken them. curry there. I know. <laughs> That's why I'm moving you over there. So you can have a look about how we prepare these scallops. So, so what I want you to do, okay. if you prepare the asparagus, yes. the, uh, yep. the leeks and the fennel there, I'm going to get my sauce on, first of all, for this oh, one. So, this nice little thin sauce. See, have shallots. Beautiful uh, creatures. I don't, I don't like them like that. Yeah. Still alive? Oh, still yeah. alive? Still alive. Uh, yeah. Doesn't he get a vote? No. <laughs> I'm sure he'd vote. I'm sure he'd vote for chicken curry right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that? Chicken curry! I can't believe that's what I didn't, I didn't even know they looked like that. <laughs> that's what they look what like. They look these like. are the these are the hand dive scallops. Uh, that they catch mainly the good, really good stuff. I reckon it's off the uh, west coast of Scotland, uh, like most of the great seafood, but they've got yes. wonderful seafood up there. Hand dive, you get the smaller ones around the Isle of Man, which are the creamy ones, which are brilliant as well, as well as the large ones, but these yeah. are delicious. Do you want to do with me? Take the black, yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can keep, the, the, they've got their yellow row on it, we can keep that, but I'm actually gonna, not going to use it for this one, so... We've got our sauce here, we've got some... Who first fruit. decided to eat that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it's been good ever since, you see. So what is that bit of it that you're pulling out there, then? What, what is... Yeah, well, some you can eat, some you can use for sauces. But that bit, the main bit that we're used to seeing on a plate is... Yeah, what, what part of a scallop is that's that? the most beautiful muscle of the scallop. That's what the most beautiful eat. muscle? Yeah, it's like the heart. <laughs> like the heart of the scallop. Right, it's very yeah. romantic, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got my sauce on here. I've got some, a uh, little bit of shallot in there, some white wine. Cooking it away nicely with a little bit of stock. And then I need to make this potato, or rather we need to make pom de chess, which yep. is a uh, baked potato. Thank you. Which you need to take out the skins, put it through a potato ricer, and you mix it. It's not mashed potato, it's pom de chess. So you mix in egg yolk, tiny little bit of butter in there as well, and that's going to be piped around the edge over here. I'm blanching off my uh, asparagus <laughs> and everything else. So that's got the asparagus, we've got the uh, little leeks and the little baby fennel in there. Sauce is coming away nicely. The shells, I've got... So what we're going to use, we're going to use these to cook with, and this is where the old Coffee Saint-Jacques comes from, because you actually use the shells. Wash them up. Can I use those scallops, please, Chef? Thank oh, you yes. very much. There you go, Jeff. Thank you. And we'll just basically slice these. Can I tell you that. a very quick Jackie Potato story, James? Go on, then. <laughs> I was in a food hall in Australia once, and I, I ordered a Jackie Potato from this Jackie Potato stand, and it uh, came in a little polystyrene tray, yeah. You know, with tuna mayonnaise or whatever it was. And as I started eating it, there was a shelving bracket. You know, one of those L-shaped sh shelving brackets in, in it. In it? In it. And I took it back to the guy and I said there was a shelving bracket in this. And he said, well, that's ridiculous. There's, ab there's no way that could happen. And uh, I looked behind him and there was a shelf like that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely true. <laughs> <laughs> And what was his answer? I, I think he gave me my money back. I, th I, think he, uh, I think he accepted defeat gracefully at that point. He was very apologetic. But... <laughs> right, pomme de chesse, we need that in a piping bag. Yeah. What is pomme de chesse? I've tried to explain that. It's mashed potato but without the cream. It's basically baked potato kind of stuff. But... Baked potato in a bag, is it? Eh? Baked hey, potato yeah. in a bag. <laughs> Put back to front. Right. Right. Why would you ruin a perfectly good baked potato? Right. It's 
one of my favourite foods. Right, now he's going to pipe it round the edge. Done that before, that's for sure. Getting it, Rod? Yeah. You want to do the next yeah. one? It's not making it any more appealing. There you go. You're on the next one. Oh, am I? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. You ready? You watched yeah. that closely, yeah? <laughs> no, I didn't watch it at all. I couldn't stop thinking about how you were ruining a perfectly good jacket potato. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, this is like the generation game. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, Rod. Yeah, yeah. that's all right, very actually. Good. Yeah, yeah, you go. We're getting the hang of it. It's not bad. Yeah. Mm -mm. There we are. Looking good. Tidied up a bit there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Fill the gaps in. <laughs> Fill the gaps in. <laughs> what do you reckon, James? It's nice, but I don't need it because I've got. So you don't want that one? No, I don't want that one. What's wrong with that one? I was just giving you something to do. What's wrong with it? <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got our scallop. What's wrong with that? There's look. nothing wrong with that. Right, look at that. Right, so. <laughs> Basically, we've got the scallops, I've got the, uh, the everything else has gone in there, the, the, the veg and stuff like that, and then we're going to take the cheese, all right, this Gruyere cheese, we've got a grater there, there you go, a little grater, we've got over the top. I thought Gruyere had holes in it. Emmental, Emmental has got holes in it. Do you taste? Hasn't, hasn't Gruyere got holes in it? Breadcrumbs. Must be buying the wrong type of Gruyere. Yeah. <laughs> I've changed my grey supply. <laughs> <laughs> Full of holes. It's <laughs> 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 got holes in it. <laughs> this goes <laughs> under the grill. What is it? What's up? I've got my straight flat. flat. <laughs> that goes <laughs> under the grill. I think it's like that. Actually. Do you want to taste this curry? This is the first time I've Of course, I want to taste yeah. the curry. That's right. my food heaven. Go <laughs> on, that thing, whatever it is. You got any? Do you need to chop me some, some coriander? Yeah, actually. Oh. Have you got any coriander free? I've got you have a taste of this. There you go. So this is the chicken curry. This has got all manner of different spices in there and everything else. Uh, Caramelised onions, which you want in there as well. Salt. Salt. Black pepper, which we'll put in. And cause, just because Aggie's here, and he loves this bit, it's got to be butter oil chicken. Oil there. It's not olive oil, it's butter. <laughs> there you go. So it's in with your butter chicken. Coriander goes in, see? And then, oh, we've got a, we've got a bowl there. Here you go. Does that smell good? It does smell good, yeah. Scallops are burning. Scallops good! Burning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Shame about the scallops. We'll have it. No, they're Curry's all right. ready. Right. Oh, go on, burn the scallops, James. <laughs> I'm you on that, Rod. That. It's great. Yeah. Do you not like uh, scallops either? Oh, well, I like scallops, but I'm banging into that. Yeah. Look that. Proper food. Brilliant. So I get to have the heaven as well? <laughs> yeah. It's half and half. Really? <laughs> Tell me what you think of that. I will. It's awesome. Like that? Mmm. We haven't got any chips with it, but there you go. No, the chips are, would have been nice, but... <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got the... We'll just put the... This is just a salt, just to stop the shell from falling over. Mm. And then we'll bring this over. <laughs> That's amazing. Scholars. I'm full now, to be honest. <laughs> 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 I don't think I can manage my scallops. <laughs> and there you have. That's enough. <laughs> that does look pretty good, but you gotta. No, doesn't it? Honestly, I don't like scallops. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta that? try it. So uh, they're still scallops. Unless you drew a face on it, it's not gonna. <laughs> Still right, to go with is. this, uh, Susie's children of Paul Mass Chardonnay, 2011, from Majestic Wines, priced at £5.99. Do you want to come on over, girls? Tell us what you think. Well, I can keep saying I don't like scallop. I don't need times I can tell you. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Have this then. If I liked scallops, it would yeah. be awesome. Well, that's the whole point of the program. I'm trying to make you like it, but obviously you still. You can't. You can't make somebody like things. <laughs> Come with a knife on my hand. <laughs> think, I can make you like a there you go. Well, you get to dive into that as well. Tell us what you think of the wine, as well, because she's been absolutely oh, spot well. on with this white wine right throughout. What is this? Today's show. This is a Paul Mass Chardonnay. I think great with scallops, of course. Not Thanks. maybe with a curry. Nice Thanks course, yeah. But I think it's fantastic. Again, mm -hmm. under six pound, I think an absolute bargain as well. Yeah. Well, best look on your tour. It starts when April the sixth, I believe, and finishes t finishes the course down in Wales as well.
Yeah, Danny Swan's on Congratulations on yeah. that. Well, that's all for today on Saturday Kitchen Live. Thanks to Jason Aston, Aggie Spirison, and the brilliant Rod Gilbert. Cheers to Susie Barry for the wine chesses, and our chef's table guests, Louise and Jenny. Remember, all of today's recipes are, of course, on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. What a great show, and we'll see you here the usual time at 10 o'clock next week. Have a great weekend. Bye for now. Diving girls, your curry or scholar. Oh,